Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. When people come to visit us, one of the first things they notice is how big the place is. When you're watching the show, it's really hard to get a feel of the size of our operation. So we figure we're gonna give you a tour of the place, kind of cribs, snake bite style. So here we are, BHB Enterprises, 15,000 square foot, pretty much packed with snakes. I want to take you guys on a personal tour, so come on and follow me. Here we are in the ball python room. There's a handful of animals like Brazilian rainbows and carpet pythons in here, but the majority of this room are ball pythons. This is 5,000 square foot, and I bet you'd like to know how many animals are in here. The truth is, I keep that one secret. There's a lot of cool stuff, and this is where some of the neatest animals that we produce are. We're so excited about this year coming up. We have some of the most cutting edge ball pythons that we've ever had ready to breed. This room's kind of unique in the fact that these guys all come from West Africa, so we try to keep this room of about 83 to 84 degrees and 50 plus percent humidity. We will drop a little bit of the temperature down to maybe 78, 70, 70 degrees during the breeding season, but other than that, it's pretty tropical in here all the time. This is our adult colubrid room. It's about 3,000 square foot and it's plum full of adult colubrid snakes. Anything from corn snakes, rat snakes, king snakes, milk snakes, anything you can imagine in the colubrid family, it's in this room and this is the stuff that hibernates. We keep this room about 78 to 80 degrees during the summertime and right now it's about 65 degrees so it's cooling off pretty nice in here. Pretty soon it'll be 50 degrees and dark for three months. This is what we call Chewy's room or the nursery. What that basically means is that all colubrids and some boa and python babies that we want to raise up for future projects come into this room and it's Chewy's job to take care of them and raise them up either to sub-adult or adult. Now because there's boas and pythons and baby snakes in here, we keep this room kind of warm, about 83 degrees. As you can see, there's ceiling fans in here and what that does is it helps circulate the air and keep the temperature constant. That way the snakes on the bottom aren't too cold or the snakes up top too hot because one thing you don't want is a lot of temperature differential, especially with baby snakes. I know Brian's been showing you some stuff here, but let me show you where it really goes down. Where it gets live. Come on, let me show you a couple things in here, all right? Look, we got my boy Scar right here, chilling. We got the solid oak table. Look at that. Thing is hot as a rock. Live. We got the TV plasma, baby. We got the HD DVD surrounds. Is this working? We got my fridge, look at this. Look at this fridge, all kinds. I'm not here all that often, but I got some dew. I got some old grapes. I got some... I think that's cream cheese. This, this is the spot. That's what I'm saying. We got Brian doing the finance to make sure everything's going good. We got Steve over here chilling. Got our drink getting on. You know, sometimes I come here late at night. I just relax. I got the girls around, you know what I'm saying? Lighting a couple of candles and everything. I mean, then we have long, meaningful conversations about how much I respect women. All right, let me show you another little spot. Get some work. Come on. Sometimes I come in here like, you know, 30, 40 times a day. Grab my weights, you know. Get a little reps in there so I can stay pumped for the ladies. You know what I'm saying, right? You know? Let me take you to the special room, you know what I'm saying? Come here, let me show you something. This is where it really gets, really gets live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bring some ladies back here at night time. This is called the Boom Boom. What the hell? All right, let me show you guys a little something, something. Along with fame comes money. And with money comes my cars, baby. I got an O2 Saturn L200, baby. You ain't seen those. That shit is classic. Look at this. 98 Mustang, okay, okay. It ain't a V8, it's a V6, but that was one of my first cars. Okay, let's let it go. When is the last time you seen this 80 something truck right here? This is my baby. Come in, this is my baby. Look at these rims, baby. These be 18s, baby. Solid chrome. I don't even know what brand they are, but I don't even know whose that is. I was gonna find that guy sleeping in that room back there. Oh, sh oh, sh this is where it comes in, but you want to do a little shifting, you want to squawk a little tires, you know, like you're some kind of mascot like Jeff Gordon, it gets live in that That's what I'm saying. You guys got to go. You guys got to go because I got to do, okay? I'm a busy man. I don't got time for this Get out of here. I'm telling you, get out of here. This is our big snake room. This is where we keep our Burmese, our retics, and even our one rock python. We have a few boas in here and a few carpet pythons in here. We're actually thinking about moving some of these animals up into our front ball python room because Lori's kind of taken this spot over. She wants to turn this into a tortoise room, believe it or not. That's right, Lori wants to turn this into a tortoise room. I don't know what to think about that. 
This is our shipping and receiving area. This is also where we keep all our extra rodents. We buy our rodents, we don't produce them here. We also have our chest freezers where we keep our hundreds of thousands of frozen rodents. As you can see, it's not really well lit back here because we really don't work back here ever. It's also not heated or cool. So it's basically about 50 degrees in the winter time and maybe 70 or 80 degrees during the summertime. But again, no one really works back here except to take care of the rodents. Okay, up here we have actually a storage room. This room is a little bit hard for me to swallow because this is where me and Lori fight all the time. It's a thousand square foot of space that I could be using for snakes or lizards or something like that. Instead, we just have a bunch of boxes and lids and stuff like that stored up here. I'm trying to work that out. This will definitely be the next expansion if I ever do it. That brings us to the last room. This is where the magic happens. We hide it up here so no one knows about it. It's kind of our secret lair. You guys want to take a peek? Come on in. So here it is, the baby snake room. Okay, maybe it's not the magical place, unless you consider baby snakes magical, which I kind of do. We have tons of baby snakes in this room, probably more baby snakes in this room than there is even in Chewy's room. There's just so many that we can hardly keep track of it. As a matter of fact, we have our newest employee, Timmy, that comes up here, we lock him in, and we don't let him out until five o'clock every day. On this week's comment of the week, on the Snake Mutations episode, the question was, what superpower would you choose? And Dope King 2003 said, If I could have any power, it would be to read women's minds. Because God knows they don't always mean what they say, and it would make stuff a lot easier. Well, I totally agree with you there. Being married and having a daughter, I wish I had that superpower make my life a lot easier. You guys keep those creative comments coming, and I'm going to feature you on a future episode. All right, guys, it's Cal's Question Week. Now, there's a lot of controversy regarding the H1N1 vaccine, as we all know. There's no way that I'm taking the H1N1. I know the government says it's fine, and I should just listen to what the government says, but this is the government that tells us crap that just is unbelievable. This is the government that put our troops in open-air atomic bomb Brian, tests. settle on. There's settle no on, way on. I'm all right, listening. All right, all right, all right. Now, I can see where Brian's coming from. I'm not too worried about getting the vaccine for myself, but for my 15-month-old daughter, I think she should get it because those are the people that are affected most. Text your video, comment below, let me know what you guys think about the vaccine. So there it is, a look into my place. This is what I've been building my entire life. It's been my dream, my passion. It's so awesome to have, and I hope you guys have got a better idea of what it's like to actually be here at BHB. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites. I'm done with you guys, so get out of here. That's it. Out. I'm not kidding. Get out. I'll call the cops. Out. Go. Done.